Diencephalon is the most difficult of the four regions to study. The cerebrum is always very obvious, the cerebellum is obvious, and the brain stem is obvious. The typical identification for the diencephalon is in a sag mid-sagittal um, section, as you see here, and it's usually indicated in this area. That, of course, is because this is the cerebrum, and this is the corpus callosum, which is part of the cerebrum. So this would indicate about the position of the diencephalon. But, as we can see here, much of the diencephalon is actually hidden by the corpus callosum and by a good portion of the cerebrum and bulges out deep and into the cerebrum. This area of the diencephalon actually contains the connecting links between the brain stem and the cerebrum. But it's very difficult to study the diencephalon unless you have this whole picture of it. I'll remove the rest of the cerebrum here and you can see this half of the diencephalon in the image here. It's also um, somewhat difficult too because this portion of the diencephalon is hollow. Um, as I think you can see just a little bit, it's very slender but it's hollow here. This is the third ventricle of the brain. So, um, don't be fooled in a sagittal section when you look for the diencephalon. It's a lot much, a lot more than it looks.